Boom. I gotta talk to you. 2K TV. This week on NBA 2K TV, we take you behind the scenes of the 2K19 a 19 my career story it's an inspiring story yeah i think that I, I definitely relate to it and i think a lot of people will as well check in on all the action in the neighborhood we're featuring your crews and your top plays oh. hey guys i'm rachel and welcome to this week's episode of nba 2k tv in this year's My Career Story, you take a different path than the superstar My players of the past. And here is your behind the scenes look at the directors and actors that bring that story to life. What's up you guys, today I'm here with Philip Smithy, who Hello. plays AI. This year's my player in my career. Yes, yes, thank you. I'm drowning out here, man. I'm drowning here. All right, please just help me. You stayed in school, AI. You're not ready. So how is the suit feeling? Have you ever done mocap before you got this role? No, no, uh, I, I got this role just by auditioning like the way that you audition for any movie or TV show. It's just a normal audition process, but um, no, I'd never done anything like this before. I came to this space, and they had to walk me through it. I was like, this place is its pretty incredible, you know, with the 140 cameras and the constant camera in your face and everything. its uh, it, it takes a lot of getting used to. Now I am here with the director of this year's My Career Story, Christian Papiernik. Thank you for coming on 2K TV. Thank you, Rachel. I'm excited to be here. Okay, so without giving too much away, can you kind of give us the premise of this year's story? I think that the the really important thing to do this year was to get back to our roots, to try and sort of define a story for the user that was meaningful and that you could really connect to um, emotionally. You look upset. You a snake. <laughs> hey man, I told you, I would do everything I have to do to climb over you. It's about a guy who has not gone the traditional path to the NBA, isn't the blue blood superstar that gets drafted right away. He has to kind of work his way through different places to get to that final goal of being in the NBA. So I think it gives the user a little bit of a different entry point to the story where the NBA isn't just this sort of automatic thing that you have, it's this thing that you have to sort of earn. As far as a career goes, it wouldn't hurt to slow down. People can recognize desperation as much as talent. <laughs> Man, that's easy for you to say. You're already in the NBA. And do you relate to AI at all? AI is my dude. I absolutely relate to him. I think a lot of people can because of the struggle that he goes through. A lot of people aren't born with a silver spoon or just like already set on a path of success. And it takes a lot to try to, you know, pull yourself up and make something happen when you feel like the odds are always against you. And um, it's an inspiring story. Yeah, I think that. I definitely relate to it, and I think a lot of people will as well. Guest with me, a very special guest. <laughs> and you've now directed, this is now your fourth. Yes. My career, so yes. 14, 15, 18, 19. Yes. yes. Are there new challenges every year? I feel like this has become a bit of a home for you. No, it's all exactly the same. No, it's all, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all they're all the same. No, it's, um, you know, the great thing is that they've all been different. You know, 14 was the original and was the first, you know, narrative storyline sports game. And that was something that we were all really excited and proud about. You know, and then 15 kind of took a similar path. Honestly, I've worked on a lot of movies and TV shows, and this is the best team in the business, without a doubt. I mean, everybody here at the mocap studio, you know, everybody that works in, the, in our producers, everything, are just absolute pros and care so much about every aspect of this game. Um, and it's an absolute team effort. Shaq, how you keep getting in my place, man? I told Spinelli not to let you in anymore. Who? Spit the d The Never question mind. is not how I got into your place, it's why I'm at your place. And why am I eating barbecue chicken on your couch? You have some dynamic characters mm -hmm. in your immediate circle in the script, but then you also got to work with people like Shaq and Kareem. Yeah. How was that? It was amazing. I mean, getting to sit down with these legends, like, it was, it's, it's funny, because everyone's personality is so different, and everyone brings something so cool to, to the story, and 
the best thing is when they're just being themselves. Like Shaq is such a, he's such a class clown character. He's so fun to be around. His energy is just pulses everywhere. And so he was, uh, he was great just to like feed off. Kareem, how did you? I... AI, let me ask you some questions. I think the challenging thing with the athletes is that there's, you know, with an actor, you know, okay, this is their job. This is what they do every day. So they're gonna show up, they've got their pages, they know their lines, they're gonna, they're, they have a general idea of what exactly they're gonna do. The athletes aren't acting every day, their job is to play basketball. So to come in and act with um, our actors, I think is initially a little bit intimidating, a little bit challenging for them. So our job is to make them feel comfortable, make them feel relaxed in a way that they can sort of be their best version of themselves. And they're always so excited to do it. And they're always so ready to, to and receptive to the idea of like, okay, what do you guys want me to do? We're ready to do it. And they've always been such, such, so enthusiastic about the process. Well, I'm excited to see the final project. Yeah, great, absolutely. Congratulations again so on another year. And obviously, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And finally getting on 2K TV. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. This High has fives. been great. Thank you. Thank you once again for being a part of the My Career Story in 2K19, filming your scene with me, <laughs> um, and also joining us we in real We did it in one life. take, by the way. We, we did. did that scene in one take. Oh, good. We need a high five for that. High five for that. <laughs> And I was all like, man, Orlando. And later in the episode, more from our My Career cast. And you are Ricky Whittle? I am. I am, and, and we are here. And in your My Career journey, you might just come across me. And when you do, we want to see it. So make sure that you share those rad scenes on social media using the hashtag 2KTVRad. And now for something new. You'll notice the NBA 2K19 neighborhood is a whole lot more fun. So this season, we'll be keeping you guys in the loop on all the events and highlights with our neighborhood scout. It's the 2K MC here with the Neighborhood Scout. Starting this weekend, the neighborhood is going to look a lot different with special 2K Compete events. On Saturday, Court Conqueror takes over the hood, pillage the castle and take on squads of NBA players. Defeat all six to earn your spoils. Then on Sunday, Gold Rush hits Annie up. The stakes have been raised even higher in 2K19. Win and rise up the leaderboard. The top VC earners will get exclusive gear, a MyCourt banner, and unlimited attribute boosts. Wednesday marks the return of House Rules. Spin the wheel and change the game. New ways to play and compete in the playground. But we're not done there. Beats debuts next Saturday from 9 to midnight. Get your glow-in-the-dark gear on and prepare for the party atmosphere. And you can show out on the dunk off, King of the Courts, and Downtown Courts. And next Sunday, Ruffles Four Point Line is back. Shoot from long range to win more gear and attribute boosts. But you gotta look the part. And the stores in the neighborhood have the hookup for your my player. We've already had historic NBA team drops and short, short Saturdays. They've already changed the style of the neighborhood. And until Sunday, you can get in on the wacky hat drop. Vikings versus Trojans, all in time for Court Conqueror. And next week, new NBA gear, 2K kicks, and Beats gear will drop before the Big Beats event. So look for the scout, show us your skills, and I'll be back later for your top plays. With 2K19's neighborhood in full swing, we caught up with last year's Hey Guys Award winner for most park wins, Poor Boy Sin. Everything about park is amazing this year. Loving the, the offense, defense, animations. Game overall is, is great. I've been playing nonstop since the game released. I plan to hit 99 just playing park. I had a sharpshooting playmaker on NBA 2K18, but I played point guard all my life. So pure point forward was pretty much more so my play style. Overall build is good. I can play defense, I can play offense. I could be a great support on my team. So that was the reason why I went pure point forward instead of play sharp this year. 
Um, I've been playing a lot of twos. I love the twos. I only run with stretch bigs. I only run with centers that can shoot the ball. My main goal this year is to find some way to make it to community day next year. Thank you for the opportunity once again. I appreciate you guys. Last week, we asked you guys to submit images of your crews using the hashtag 2KTVCrews. And now, here are your submissions. Hi, I'm Dan Indra, and I'm still a game designer with NBA 2K. We're here on the set of NBA 2K19, and you are Ricky Whittle. I am. So. I am, and, and we are here. And it, it's magnificent, and it's a lot of fun. And the accent is coming out. We don't see the accent in the game. Yes, I am British, and I am playing uh, an American, Paul Tatum, who's the, the wily old fox. Um, he's kind of got some wisdom to bear on our, our young rookie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fool yourself, kid. They used to be in the league for a reason. If we underestimate them, they will bury us. I never play British, to be honest. So you can kind of research accents, kind of figure out where, where you want to come with that. It's a lot of fun, and then being a part of this game is, is it's an absolute honor and, and something I've never done before. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. Where else are you drawing from for the character? Having to impart wisdom, is that, is that mean, totally normal for you? Are you that kind of guy? I, I like to picture myself as, as like LeBron, like a great of the game who's just done everything, but he's still got a little bit for the little people. How is this process different? I mean, it's got to be, it's, um, a lot well, of stuff's the same, but. I mean, the whole the whole headgear thing, you kind of have a, have, have a camera like looking at your yeah, face right here. Which we just had to take off so we could even get in the interview. And it's terrifying because it's kind of got like a fish lens. So it, like you spread your nose out, your eyes kind of come to the side of your face like a fish and, and it's upsetting. <laughs> you know, you got to realize that's not you. That's just a process. You know, and, and I like to be an intense actor who gets all up in people's faces. Yeah. You can't. There's boundaries that we can't get in there. So, you know, you, you, you kind of got, when, when you're looking at people, you've got to decide, you know, who's going low and then who's going high so that you don't bang cameras. And sometimes that's awkward and strange, but you make it work. One, two. What's up? Blake Jenner, I'm playing Howie Carter. I'm Howie. AI, hey, nice to meet you. He's kind of the uh, class clown of the team, and uh, the friends are lead character early on, kind of shows him the ropes of the whole thing. How is this process different? Because it is, it's very much like a movie set in a lot of ways, but not quite. It's wild, man. Well, I've never done anything like this before, so it's pretty different. I mean, I'm kind of used to just being on a set with props. So the first day was kind of getting, the, was getting the, the groove of everything. But I, this is my third day today, and I'm, I'm just having a blast now. Yeah. Favorite NBA moment? Uh, favorite NBA moment. Uh, it's a moment with Isaiah Thomas on the Pistons where they were playing the Lakers, and it was like game six. And uh, it was like the third quarter, and he injured his ankle. And he played the whole time. He got like 25 points on a broken ankle. I just look back at that, and it's so inspiring, because all he had was like fury in his mind, and the need to score. It's Mo McCray, AKA Mr. I'll beat you if you ever want to play me in 2K. <laughs> A.K.A. Marcus Young, A.K.A. the greatest. Let's go. You think you own his locker room now? Kind of relate to this character in a few ways because he comes across as the antagonist, but I understand him to be extremely driven and passionate and goal-oriented, and I feel like those are things that I identify with in my personal life. It does have to be that way, and you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare! Oh, oh, oh. I grew up playing 2K with like all my buddies. We have epic 2K battles yeah. and more head to head. I haven't spent enough time into my player mode. Favorite NBA moment? Ah, oh, it's so tough. So being an LA guy, like I said, even though I love Jordan, he's one of the greatest. Yeah. Love LeBron presently. 
But I got to go Magic Air was great for me. But Kobe, I think, was the one that I just really connected with the most. And my favorite memory was when he tore the ACL and he still made the free throw and then limped off the court. Grab your gear, AI. You're switching rooms. You're room with Howie now. Rob Hubel. Thanks for having me, Dan. So you just got here. Normally, we've been asking people what it's been like. Yeah. But you've been doing this about 17 minutes. 17 minutes, yeah. But I've done some, uh, I've worn the gear before, but just for like comedy reasons, like for comedy Not sketches. Not like cosplay. Uh, no, although that would be, yeah, that would be weird. That would be. That would be really would weird. Would that stop you, though? Um, no. I dare you. Keep talking. Hey, hey, knock it off. Knock it off, guys. Uh, I'm a coach in the game, so I came in, I'm like yelling at all the guys, hey, what's going on in here? And well, your a... first scene is breaking up a fight. Yeah. Like... And then, of course, I just clunked, clunked. Knock it off! Knock it off! I just bonked everyone's head, and they're like, cut, and we do it again. Knock it off! Bonk, bonk, cut, do it again. Can I bonk him? Sorry. Take 49, I'm like, great, <laughs> I'll see you guys at the rap party. You wanna make an announcement about the place? How, how is this? Because you have a theater background and a TV background yeah. and a voiceover background. Yeah. Is this all of those things? Is this totally different? Um, this is great because uh, it's super fast. Yeah. Like normally on a TV show or a movie, you have to light everything specifically and it takes a long time. Yeah. No, we're flying through this, this because they're like getting ready you, to set up right now. This is like you really, you know, once you get in the gear and you have it all uh, calibrated to your specific body and your movements and all that, you're like good to go. So let's just be adults. All right, let's go guys. Let's go hit the showers. You're not even looking at me. <laughs> here to bring you the best plays your eyes have ever seen or will ever see. Now let's get to your top plays of the week. First, we have Harden 13 King and Play Now Online. Gets the block with Tinwitty and Yeet just chucks it. Buckets. Now we've got Decker playing some triple threat with the hustle steal and hits the sitting three. Getting snazzy with white chocolate in my team. Way to go, Jay Will. Yeah! Oh yeah, his trampoline time with LeBrock James. Gets the massive LeBlock and goes between the legs for the flush. On the real though, why would you even try a three with a guy standing on a trampoline right in front of the rim? Kind of seems like he's gonna do that literally every time you try that. Last up, we're in the neighborhood with JN3L23 and his crew. On the fast break, goes off the backboard for the between the legs oop. They can't handle this crew's chemistry. Now vote for your favorite play. And don't forget to submit your best plays on social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. I'm the 2KMC. Play my transition. I'm getting out of here. Sprint the whole time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's all we've got for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. And make sure that you tune in next week because we have a very special episode with the legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And I will see you guys then. Bye. Got to get back to the game.